Good evening and welcome. Please observe my stopwatch. Watch as it sways from side to side. Keep your eyes on the stopwatch. I am here to help you relax. Your eyes are getting heavy. Heavier. Heavier now. You will feel so good, so unbelievably good. All that matters is that you relax even further. You just have to relax and let it happen. That's it. You're doing great. Enjoy this feeling of peacefulness and relaxation. And with each breath you become more and more relaxed. And with each breath, you fall deeper into a peaceful trance. Deeper. Deeper. You find yourself staring at my watch. You find yourself fixated by it. You realize you can move your eyes. You realize you can look away from the watch. But you don't want to look away from the watch. Why bother looking away from this watch? It's so interesting. But you must look away. I will now set the stopwatch down. Now that you feel relaxed, please if you will, observe these cards. I have some playing cards. I would like for you to select one of these cards. Have you selected the card yet? Zero in on it. Repeat the card's name and value over and over in your mind. Got it? I will now read your mind. I think I know which card you selected. I will now pull your card out and set it down right here. Take a look now at the remaining 4 cards. Do you see your card? You don't? Has your card vanished? Very interesting. Astonishing, really. Don't you agree? And now, I will erase your card. When I snap my fingers I will erase your card and your memory of this ever happening at all. I will snap my fingers now. I have erased your card and all memory of this ever happening. Soon you will awake feeling refreshed and relaxed. You will feel so very good. And when you awaken, you will notice something is different. Something is different. You can't seem to remember what it is. But whatever it is. You like it. You like it a lot. Welcome to a magic show for the end of the world. Hi everybody. Did I hypnotize you? Yes. I've uh, been hypnotized. Yeah, you've been. I'm. Obviously, I didn't hypnotize anybody. Uh, probably a, a difficult thing to do with the strobe light. Just realized. Um. So some of that may or may not have been co-written by an artificial intelligence program. Just the stopwatch part, though, not the, the card trick. Um, so all I'm saying is, if you did feel a little hypnotized, and I honestly would be surprised if you did, you may or may not have been mesmerized to some degree by a hypnos uh, hypnosis speech writing AI robot, is, is all I'm saying. Hey, <laughs> uh, welcome to a magic show for the end of the world. Uh, feel free to un unmute. It's nice to see everybody. I see my mom. Hi, mom. I see Eden. I see David. Mom. I see Modo McChesney, who I met at a magic show very recently. And I see Nathan Bowser. Hello. Thank you for coming. I see Cheyenne. I see Lydia. I see Heather. I see Brandon. And I think Anna Byers is joining us in a little bit. She said she's running late. Maybe we'll get some more people as well. So it's June. It's our 10th month out of 12, and therefore our 10th topic slash magic genre. 
You may not know this, but most professional magicians stick to the same script, the same tricks, show after show, maybe changing out about half of their set every six months, then changing out the other half six months later, so on and so forth. Um, if, if it works, you know, why break a thing that's working, right? But some, uh, there are some out there who really never change anything. My show, I'm no professional, but hey, it's a, it's a brand new how hour and a half of material every time, every month. I don't repeat my tricks. So for one straight year, we're in month number 10. This is almost all over. Um, that was a challenge. It's, um, it's been a lot of fun. It's kicking my ass a little, but we're almost there. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for making this weird dream come true. Uh, so um, let's get right into it. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one, uh, this show specifically since the very beginning. By the way, I want to make sure the music's okay. Uh, I'm going to pull it down just a little bit more. And uh, there we go. Uh, this show is the uh, mentalism theme. Okay. And if uh, you couldn't remember, us discussing that, um, or if you don't know if you remember, or if you can't decide in your own mind what you remember about whatever, I'll just remind you now, uh, this month, we're very much going to do a very fine and a very nice mentalism show. So I want you all to commit that to memory now, on the count of three. Got it? Keep it in your mind. What is mentalism? What is a mentalist? From both the Wikipedia as well as the Vanishing Ink page on mentalism, I directly lift, I don't care, much of the following explanations and definitions. Mentalism is a performing art in which its practitioners, known as mentalists, appear to demonstrate highly developed mental or intuitive abilities. It is the art of leveraging a highly developed understanding of human psychology and body language to influence others and provide unexplainable psychological experiences. Simply put, mentalism is like performing magic for and with the mind and imagination. Mentalism is commonly classified as a subcategory of magic or is considered magic adjacent. And when performed by a stage magician may also be referred to as mental magic. While magic and mentalism might seem very similar, many purists would claim that mental mentalism is actually not magic at all. Practitioners known as mentalists will often tell you that they are not magicians, insisting that their art form utilizes a distinct skill set. Instead of doing magic tricks, mentalists argue that they produce psychological experiences for the mind and imagination and expand reality with explorations of psychology, suggestion, and influence. Performances may appear to include hypnosis, telepathy, clairvoyance, divination, psychometry, spirit manifestation, precognition, psychokinesis, mediumship, mind control, memory feats, deduction, and rapid mathematics. Much of what modern mentalists perform in their acts can be traced back directly to tests of supernatural power that were carried out by mediums, spiritualists, and psychics in the 1800s. When I perform the seance theme, in our October show, I wanted desperately to discuss, as I discuss history and histrionics the way I am now and usually for every show, I wanted to discuss the absolutely incredible history of seances and mediumship and the 19th century spiritualist spiritism movement, but I felt it was more important to stay in the scene, if you gather my meaning, to show you uh, a nut inexplicably flying off of a bolt rather than to discuss the nuts and the bolts of this crazy, very long lasting movement that essentially started in 1848 with the Fox sisters in upstate New York, scaring the bejesus out of their parents by communicating with the dead and blew up into a hysteria from that point. A quick list of famous mentalists past and present, Theodore Anneman, Joseph Dunninger, Max Maven, the amazing Kreskin, Mom, you and I were talking about Kreskin recently. Richard Osterlin, David Berglis, Darren Brown, Alexander the Man Who Knows, Banachek, Tony Corinda, Yuri Geller. You guys have probably heard of Yuri Geller, the spoon bender, and many more. All of these people have fascinating stories. My personal favorite is Alexander the Man Who Knows, who's seen here behind me. I'll bring his poster right over. 
you guys can take a closer look. And hopefully you don't have a reflection. Okay. You may have seen this iconic poster at some point in your life. Uh, especially if you've gone up to Seattle's Pike Place Market, he's all over the place up there. The, the magic shop worships him. And he, uh, he died in Seattle, so it's kind of a, important to Seattle. Um, I'm gonna tell you this about Alexander. Uh, he not only was the highest paid mentalist in the world at the height of his career during the 1920s, earning multiple millions of dollars during his career on stage, making him quite possibly the highest paid entertainer in the field of magic for his era, possibly more than Harry Houdini. He was also a total con man. And I, what I mean to say is, this guy is the dark side of magic. He is the Darth Vader of magic. Uh, here's what I can tell you. Con man, he was married nearly a dozen times. His biographer mentions 11 marriages, but as some claim that he was married 14 times. He was on record for having killed at least one man, but getting off on the grounds of self-defense. He was mugged in the street, apparently. His conning skills included pioneering an electrical microphone technique, an earpiece in his turban, with Stooges grabbing info pre-show as people entered and sending it to him on stage later that evening during the show. And this is super advanced for the 1920s, using this technology to utterly fleece people, especially during private mediumship readings, which is probably why he had such high earnings, he took money from rich people. He spent time in local jails, including a jailbreak in Oklahoma in 1906 and federal prison in Washington state, went on trial for attempting to extort $50,000 from an oil man millionaire, made a failed attempt to outrun the authorities in a high powered speedboat loaded with bootleg liquor and personally admitted to the killing of four men. Did he actually kill four men? Really, only the man who knows, knows. It's the stuff of biographies, hearsay and legends. One thing is for sure, this famous mentalist invested a great deal of money into the production and printing of beautiful chromiolithograph posters for his stage show. When he retired from the stage, he kept these in storage and eventually sold the unused posters and all of his stage equipment and props to a magic dealer uh, in Ohio in 1944. Say what you will about this guy. The posters are stunning, iconic, and are just a wonderfully cool survived relic of the golden era of magic. Okay, 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 okay. Enough about history, you guys. We're all gonna fall asleep. Um, are you guys ready? We're gonna do some mentalism. Ready. Ready? Yes. We get a, get a hoorah, hoorah. 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 Okay. All right, I'm gonna double check to see if anybody is trying to get in. Nobody's trying to get in. Okay. Um, Not a little bit of beer. That's a lot of uh, a lot of words. Oh. Okay, you guys. You guys ready? I think you told me. Hurrah. Make sure this music's. I can hardly hear it, bud. Let's bring it up a little bit. It's very important that we can hear each other. And this show particularly is a lot of, a lot of uh, communicating, communicating verbally. But if this is good, give me a hoorah. 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 Okay. Okay. Listen, uh, uh, here's what's up. I want you all to be involved in this. Okay. You ready? Hoorah. Ready. I want you all to think, I want you all to think of a dessert and something that you might commonly find in someone's home. You know, nothing, nothing interesting or exotic like tiramisu or baklava, something simple like ice cream and no formal product names like Ben and Jerry's or dryers or anything like tea. Just the actual thing that it is called like ice cream, right? But obviously don't use ice cream because we have said ice cream too much. So ice cream's off the list, but <laughs> think of a common dessert that you might find in anyone's kitchen, right? You've got it? Think of that word and whatever you do, don't say anything out loud. Keep it in your mind. Don't even whisper what you're thinking to someone else in the room, if anyone else is in the room with you. Hey, now, I want 
you to think of the last letter of that dessert word that you thought of. I want you to take the last letter of that dessert. Does everybody have the last letter of that word? A thumbs up? Okay, I see thumbs up from everybody. Okay. All right, now I want you to now think of a breakfast food that starts with that letter. Just some kind of basic breakfast food. Uh, now that you have the breakfast word in your mind, take the second letter of that breakfast food, that word. You okay. got it? Got the second yep. letter, everybody? Okay. Now, I want you to think of a musical instrument that starts with that letter. Okay. Think, think of that instrument. Think of that word. Get that word in your mind, of that instrument. Okay. Now, I want you to take the, uh, the second... Actually, let's do the third letter. Take the third letter of that instrument. Go to the third letter of that word. You got that letter? Mm -hmm. Letter number three. All right. Now, here's all you got to do. I want you to think of a color that starts. I want you to open your mind and picture a Crayola box, the biggest Crayola box that you got. Okay. Mm, yeah. I want you to hunt through it until you find a color. Find a color that starts with that letter. And it's a real color that you've heard of before that would start with that letter, okay? We're not gonna invent colors, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have it? Do you have yep. it? Don't say it out loud. Don't share it with anybody. Are we good? We got that color? Yeah. Okay, now listen, now here's what we're gonna do. I, I brought this slate out, and here's what we're gonna do. Got a rope? I've got chalk, a little piece of chalk, okay? Let me show you what we got. Blank slate. So I'm gonna put a piece of chalk right here I'm gonna set this down. I want all of you to think of that color. I'm gonna tie this really quick. Go ahead. Project that word all together. Use all your mental power, everybody. I want you to take that piece of chalk and write that word onto this slate. Go ahead, right now. Like a Care Bear stare, write that word on my <laughs> chalk. You guys moving the chalk with your minds? Getting a nosebleed, like I love it. Okay, <laughs> that's bad, we don't want that. All right, let me get rid of that chalk now. You've done your job, little piece, little piece of chalk. Okay, <laughs> you guys, ready? <laughs> I tried to write one. It was, it was the same size. It touched both the ceiling and the floor. Is that the word you were thinking of? Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. What? Yes. yes. Robin. How in the heck? <laughs> Whoa. That is that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you are at a mentalism show, my kidding. friends. You're at a mentalism show. Okay, Eden, I got, <laughs> I, I got something for you. I made this. I'm quite proud of it. I, I made this. Uh, Eden, can you see this? Okay, this is a uh, this it says sticker magic on it. But what it has is a bunch of uh, uh, food stickers. As you can see, we've got. Popsicle, we got tacos, we got cupcakes and hot dogs and cherries. Now, there's a rule to this whole thing and I'm gonna need your help, okay? What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have you think of a number between five and 15, okay? And I want you to go ahead and tell me what it is. And there's there are set rules, as I mentioned, we're gonna go through them step by step, okay? Can you tell me what your number is? Seven. That's a good number. I think we can all agree on how great that number is. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start here and we're gonna work our way counterclockwise, okay? We're gonna go seven spaces. This is our first step, ready? When we get there, we have another thing that we have to do. <clears throat> you ready? Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. Whatever we land on when this is done, I'm gonna pull that food right out of this poster. Okay? 
and I hope it's delicious. <coughs> That's my hope. I don't know if it will be. Okay, here we go. One, count with me. Two, Two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven. seven. Now I'm not gonna pull a hot dog out. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. The rules tell us very specifically to work our way now from the hot dog going clockwise seven spaces. Not starting on the hot dog, but starting here. Are you ready? Yep. That's it. <clears throat> whatever, whatever this is, this is this is Eden choosing this. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three, and seven. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Seven. seven. Oh, great. Okay. I made a promise. I'm going to pull a bowl of ramen out of the... Uh, I can do this. Uh, oh, I know what I can do. There we go. Got it. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hold on. <laughs> We're good. Top six went. Well, they're back. We're gonna fix that. I'm gonna get that right. Oh, cool. Dry ramen all over me. You them? <laughs> you did. Am I making this right? That's how we make it at home. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm a man of my word. So, Eden, I will get this in the, in the mail for you immediately. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Clean up a little bit here. Oh, ramen. <laughs> Delicious. It's just little snack bites. It's good. Noodle cracker. Ramen wash bar. Hold on a second. Just a second. Do you like ramen, Eden? Do you like ramen? Eden? In my question. Okay, good, good. I wish it had been a popsicle or something delicious. Uh, ramen is delicious. It's really great with an egg. You crack an egg in there, some broccoli in there, some teriyaki sauce. Forget about the powder. It's some teriyaki sauce. Um, okay. Uh, here's the here's what's up. Uh, I wanna uh, I wanna play a game. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick the uh, some adults for this one. No offense, younger people, but I'm gonna pick. Yeah. Okay. Ready? It's kind of a make a deal sort of thing. Like, a, um, I need four people. Whoever raises their hand first. I got Anna. I got Cheyenne. I got Nathan. And I got David. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now here's what here's what the deal is. On. I got, I've got five envelopes. Okay. They're numbered one through five. Now I have. Taken a hundred dollar bill, a real one hundred dollar bill, and I have folded it and put it in one of these envelopes. Okay, and the, the game here is quite simple. Um, you get to pick whatever envelope you want, though I am going to go one at a time. Okay, and and uh, we want to all yell it out at once, um, but um, you get to pick whatever you want. You happen to get the $100 bill, you keep it. I send it to you. Um, if if I wind up with the envelope that has the money, I get to keep it. And I will tell you, I have the same incentive that you have. I have a 20% chance of getting it, and I'd like to keep it. So that's how this is going to go. Um, how do we do this? Let's do it alphabetically by last name. Sorry, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser. Okay. Yeah. Now, now again, you can say, I might be messing with you. I have the incentive to keep 
$100 bill. And what I'd like to suggest, Nathan, mm -hmm. is that I feel <laughs> really good about number two. I yeah. Feel, I definitely feel like there's, I definitely- Seems like you do. I definitely feel like there's something special in number two. Some, maybe the money's there. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> You get to pick whatever you want, but uh, you know, I'm just wink, wink. It could be in envelope number two. That's all. Anyway, it's, it's a twenty percent chance, just like 20, you said. Twenty percent chance. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna. I know not to trust you in money, so <laughs> I want number one. Number one, Nathan yeah. has chosen number one. Okay. All right. Who's got the next last name? Is it Gamble? Is it McCall? No. It's a oh, Byers. No. Oh, wait a minute, Anna. So sorry. You have like a complete alphabet front facing name. Mm -hmm. just, I know, I do, it's true. Mm -hmm. But forget, forgive me, forgive me. You're, how about you're next, okay? Okay. okay. All right, Anna. Uh, Byers is next. Byers is next. <laughs> Oh, really good. Like I said, about number yeah. number two. I, uh -huh. I feel pretty good about number three, though, too. Hmm. I could have been doing some reverse psychology on me. I know, I know you are, indeed. I could also I know be, what's happening here. Could yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with number two, then. Okay. Okay. Nathan, yeah. Nathan, Nathan didn't want number two? Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Anna's going to go for it. Uh, McCoy, you're somewhere in the... No, you're last. I'm after Gamble. You're dead last. That's you got a 50% that. chance, Cheyenne. It's true. Wait, uh, but Gamble does come before McCoy. It's true. That's true. So, <laughs> so well, we'll see what happens. Everyone mm. has a 20% chance. David? Hmm. Mm. I keep hiding envelope number four. Yes. Is that? Wait, can you can you put them upside down for a minute? Yeah. Excellent. They're sealed. Did I did I point that out? They are yeah. Sealed. Oh, they're they're, abs they're absolutely sealed. Hermetically sealed envelopes. They are absolutely <laughs> hermetically sealed. Uh, I want number two. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Anna's taken envelope. Yeah, sorry, he Drat. sold it. It's not a white elephant, David. <laughs> oh. Robin keeps hiding number four. And three. And three and five. Let's go five. <laughs> One's left. Five. That's that's David's. And, uh, listen, Cheyenne, it comes down to you and me. So I have a 50-50 chance. Yeah. If, if you win, mm -hmm. you buy me a beer. If I win, yeah. I buy yeah. me a beer. For sure. Right. Um, I'm going with number four. Hey, okay, that leaves me with number three. All right, um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open up number three. Oh no. Well, we don't know. We don't. We just don't know. A bad feeling. Got a bad. Oh no, bad news. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you do. Wait, wait a minute. Guys. Nice. I am so sorry. I really am. I'm oh, really, I'm really man. sorry. I had the one hundred dollars. Um. Now listen. Just want to point something out. Here's the deal. Let's open up number one. Who had number one? That was Nate. Oh. It's hard. It's hard to win against me in this one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna leave number two. <laughs> it's just for a second. Something. Nathan blessed. Let's leave number two just for a moment. What do we got here in Cheyenne's envelope? Pouting. What is it? Oh, nope. <laughs> oh. I'm glad Good that boy. wasn't the black spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. Thanks. And and David, I'm so sorry. Nope. Oh, nope show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an advertisement for that cool movie that's about to come out. Uh, Anna. Yes. Nathan, everyone. Mm. 
kept mentioning that I felt something was in number two, didn't I? Yeah. You have to admit that I did do that. Mm -hmm. Admit it. I'm gonna open this up. What would have happened if any of the rest of you had grabbed this envelope? You would have found something inside of it. Finger. <laughs> Oregon, Oregon lottery tickets. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. And there are four Oregon lottery tickets to be specific. Anna. Yes. You get to keep one of them. Hey. Okay. And then the other three are going to be <laughs> sent, or one of them will be delivered here to, but you get to pick which one is yours. The rest yeah. of you, just uh, text me your uh, your address. Sorry, mm -hmm. Anna. But everybody wins in this game. Yay! You're the yeah. best. Yeah, Sorry, we're... Anna. Everybody wins. I <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anna, which one? Which one do you think is yours? It's that one. This one. The one to your left. This. That this, one. This, this one. One more over. This one? This one. That's the one. <laughs> All right. That's my girl. This is yours. The rest will be, you know. I'll, you'll get them in the mail. And You're good, adorable. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> top prize, $10,000. These are the <laughs> cheap lottery scratches uh, that cost me $2. Would you be really mad if we won $10,000? No. Keep it. I, would, I think it would be amazing. If you guys win <laughs> the money, oh man, go to Hawaii. Go to Hawaii. Um, okay, let's move on. Um, I'm gonna grab a, um, a person. Um, Moto. Moto's a special guest here. We've not met Moto before. Uh, oh. uh, <coughs> Lydia to see a magic show and we met. Well, I met you twice, technically, because you're at Mart's magic show and Lloyd's there. Yes. Um, okay, uh, well, wait, now I don't know if you know this one. I, I, I'm gonna. Does this look familiar to you, Moto? No. Are you sure? Okay. No, it doesn't look familiar. Okay, cool beans. I, I, all, all I do is card tricks. I do card tricks and wild card. That's it. Oh, cool. You know what? I've got something for you later. <laughs> okay, card tricks are great. That's, I started with just card tricks and then I started wanting to know everything. Um, uh, yeah, except for handcuff escapes and things like that. Um, Moto. Uh, well, first of all, what I, what I have here are six different tiles. They, they're squares, they got Rubik's uh, patterns on them, but don't worry about that. What you need to know is that on the other side of each one of these squares is a color. They all have a different color, okay? This is a mentalism show. I'm gonna be doing a lot of predicting. I'm gonna try to flex my predicting muscle, I guess, on all of you guys. I'm gonna try other mentalism things as well, but there'll probably be a lot of predicting. Now I'm gonna predict right now. Well, it's already in the envelope. So, uh, Moto, all you gotta do is uh, pick one of these and then I'll open this envelope, okay? I'm gonna do... And, and you can just tell me when to stop. Keep in mind there's a delay. Stop, or no, sorry, not that one. Uh, top right for me. Top right? Other side. Other side, okay. Yep, that one. By the way, this is gonna be very useful to me later. Can you raise your right arm? Okay, so it looks like the left arm to me. That's good to know. I this guess. Is, this is the one that you've chosen. Is that right, Moto? Yep. Okay, cool, man. So, um, any particular reason why you chose this one? Uh because it was the farthest away from where I was. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to not go with the central thing. Okay, Moto, here we go. You will choose blue. Okay, there's nothing else in this envelope. And I will show you the rest of the colors. You see green and orange and red and yellow and purple. Moto, you chose blue. I knew you would. Typical Moto. 
Typical Moto. Here you go. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? Ooh. Yeah. Almost upsetting. <coughs> Almost upsetting. Now, <laughs> though I, uh, I'd like to uh, demonstrate a lot of predicting, and I will. I think it would be fun to um, to uh, show you guys. Um, do, do I need to keep my arm up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you kept your arm up this entire time? I am so sorry. That's my <laughs> I literally just wanted to know for later for some <laughs> stuff, if right was left. I am so sorry. Okay, here's here's the thing. In that list that I mentioned uh, earlier of different types of mentalism, one of those was psychokinesis. Anybody here know what psychokinesis is? Living things with your mind. Like telekinesis. Uh, telekinesis. Uh, telepathy. Telepathy. Moving things with your mind. No, that's telekinesis. That's like transmitting messages. With but you know what? <laughs> Psychokinesis is uh, definitely what Yuri Geller was doing with spoons, bending spoons. I, oh. think, I feel like telekinesis is is because uh, tele is to it's it's between two things, right? So I yeah. think it's moving something between, I don't know. I actually don't really know what telekinesis is at the moment. That's too bad. But psychokinesis is like spoon bending. Now, I'm not powerful enough to bend spoons, as you guys might remember from the November show. I tried. It went, it went very badly. I have to do something with lighter objects, like playing cards. Okay? I want to show you something. I hope it works out. Playing cards. Now, you guys are familiar with trying to make <coughs> hard castles, like so. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing, like putting cards against. There's another way to do this. And and the way that the way that I like to do it is this way. Okay. Like that. Now that's that's not very impressive. Mm -hmm. But I'm impressed. Now hold on, before we jump to conclusions, mm. it could be it could be uh, like easily said uh, uh, that I, I bent this. I could have I could have done this a few times. I could have created a bend like that, and then set it down, and it would have had some kind of a two points. I could have done that, right? So it's standing on its oh, but if that were true, if that were true, could I do? That. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Here. Hold on. Ready, 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 ready. Okay. All right. Are we happy? Is that good? <laughs> we all doing good? We're happy. We happy? All right. I'm moving this along. <laughs> I had a fun time. Um, okay. Um, okay. Aha. Um, let's try something with, uh, uh, something you might find, uh, use a, get at a stationary store. At a TJ, TJ Maxx? Is that a, no, what am I thinking of? <laughs> <laughs> a TJ Maxx. Is that like a fashion store? <laughs> Office it's Max? A, Office yeah, Max. Office Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Office Max. Office Max. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, okay. Cheyenne, send me something right now. I'm supposed to send you a person, place, and thing? Just pick something in the whole world. Send it to me. <coughs> okay, um, okay. 
it's not the same. No, hold on. No, I don't want that. I don't like that. And I'm gonna cr- I'm crossing it out actually. <laughs> like I didn't do a good enough job. No, I got it now. I got it now. I got it. Thank you. I got it. I have it for sure. Okay. 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 Got it. Okay. So, uh, David. Same thing. Send me something. Mm. And, and and Cheyenne, what what? Tell everybody what was the thing that you were thinking of? Uh, sweet face the cat. Sweet face the cat. I knew that, and that's what I figured you were doing. Uh, mm. David, go ahead. Send me something. Are you doing it? You are. Okay. You, sh- you should know. Well, I know. I should know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Mm, no. No. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. And, and David, what were you thinking of? Eiffel Tower. Mm. I almost thought of Paris, David. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting, David. Um, I'm gonna now. Uh, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna reverse this, and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna write a number down, and uh, I'm gonna write it down right now. It's a. Uh, it's an odd. Mm-hmm. It's an odd number, and what I mean by this is that, okay, so double digit numbers between one and 50. I want you guys to all pick up on what I just wrote down, okay? Sending it your way. And it's an odd number, and I say this because both digits are odd, but they're not the same digit. It's not like 11. They're both different from one another, but both are odd numbers, okay? You guys have a number in your mind? Mm. You got one? Thumbs up, everybody got their double digit odd number. Now, I changed my mind. I had initially written, oops, uh, I would initially written 35, but I changed it to 37. Did anybody, anybody here pick up on that? <laughs> yeah, I, that was my number. And uh, you got 37? Mm-hmm. I'm nervous y'all thought of 19. No. no. Uh-huh. 37. 30, you, who, you, David, you got 37? By the way, uh, <laughs> David, this is the very next page, okay? I wrote... See, the thing is, I wrote Eiffel Tower down, and then I crossed it out. I second-guessed myself, because I thought it was going to be hair saloon. <laughs> <laughs> and is that is that where you get whiskey and hair? Yes. You yeah. go down to the hair saloon, <laughs> get all of that. Now, uh, Diane, you'll notice uh, this is the very next page as well. And I did get it right. And I'm glad that I crossed out what I thought you were going to say, which was Paul McCartney's beard. (laughs) (laughs) I would never bring that up in a conversation. (laughs) I'm surprised it wasn't what you were thinking of, but yeah, sweet face. In a battle between Paul McCartney's beard and sweet face, I know sweet face would win. In your, in your. <laughs> hey, you guys, crazy things uh, on the way. We're, we're kind of in the valley of uh, some are uh, pretty good, I guess. There's some bigger ideas oh. coming down. Um, Mom. Yeah. Where are you at? I'm here. I love you. I'm on the end. Oh, well. That's something for you. Um, Mom? Yeah. Uh, you got an envelope with a bunch of hearts on it. Yeah. Can you make that? 
Inside of the envelope, I have a car. Oh, did I, did I just expose that? No. Nope. No, I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. I want you to know. No. Raise your hand if you knew what it was. No. We'll, we'll have to, to kill you. Please don't say it. What Spirit, no. Prediction. Okay. Prediction. Okay. Set it right there. I think I know you well enough, Mom. Let me show you an envelope. It's quite empty. Satisfied? Okay. Okay. I promise you, these are all different cards. It's a 52 cards. It's not a trick deck. Okay. There's nothing, nothing unusual about it. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. Shuffle it up a little bit. Um, and you know what? I want you to just have a completely fair pick. If I do anything funky, I just, I'm going to spread them out this way. You tell me where to go. Okay. Tell me where to go. Stop. Wait. Uh, oh, oh. Stop. Right here? Mm hmm Okay. This is the one? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. We're going to put this card inside of the envelope, okay? We're gonna put this card inside of the envelope as well. And then we're going to set it down and close up the deck. We're gonna go over what just happened. Okay. okay. You were shown the back of a card that says prediction. It's a red back bicycle card. I pulled out a blue bicycle deck. You picked a card within any one of these. We drew both of them in. So let's find out right now what you picked. I'm going to pull out this card right now. Okay. I'm going to pull out this card right now. Show you. We are. We're good. Huh? I said, I know you pretty well. This was the prediction card. Six of spades. Huh? Okay. It's the card that you grabbed. Okay. <laughs> well. There you go. Um, love you, Mom. Um, hey. We are going to do something fun. Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, do you, I'm going to, I'm gonna need you. I'm here for you, buddy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, do you do you have you got a pen and paper? Oh gosh, really? Yeah. Can you can you <laughs> I'm uh I'm a pretty digital person, but hold on, I I got you. Hmm. And Lydia. Oh, yes. Let's grab you as well. You got a pen and paper too? Uh, yeah, let me go get it to um, right, okay. okay, you got it? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do two different, this is a design duplication test, okay? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I have in my hands a bunch of different symbols. There are no repeating okay. symbols. They are, um, you know, all kinds of stuff, lightning bolts and circles and common things like, you know, some letters, some shapes. Um, that was a, uh, that's a note. That's an ear, a note. That is, that's, a nose. that's not a boob. I, that's a nose. That's a, I think it's a nose. Is that a nose? Yes, it is. They wouldn't put anything. Uh, and so what you're getting is um, uh, all individual um, symbol, okay? And I will tell you, I'll tell you also that there is no, um, there's no like tricky cards where there's like two stuck to one another or anything like that. Okay, it's all, it's all what it is. And the other thing that I want to tell you, Nathan, is that the back, hoping you can catch this, is just black. Black, yeah. a glossy black. Um, at no point are these marked in any way on the back. 
there's no embossing, there's no braille, there's no scent, there's nothing. I can't scratch, scratch and sniff the answer. They are simply cards, cards that I cannot tell what they are. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to ask you to tell me where to stop, and then I want you to draw the thing. But how are we going to make sure that I don't know what you grab? First of all, let's do this. You tell me where to stop, OK? Wait, is this huh? for Nate or me? Or me. For Nate first. We're oh. going to do a different Sorry. design. Different design. Here we go. You tell me where to stop. Yep. Stop. 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 Keep going. Stop. Okay. okay, now it's going to be this card. Oh. Let me make that clear. This is the mm -hmm. card, okay? But I want to make sure that you know that I'm not picking up this at all. I'm not. We need to do that. So this is, first of all, this is a pot. You can't see through it because it's made of Teflon, okay? So. You're so resourceful. <laughs> yep, that's the card. Can you get a little closer? A, a little. <laughs> oh. uh, I honestly don't know, but cool. Okay, I think I think. Uh. Uh. Yep. Uh. Is it, is it upside down? I don't really know. It's a no, little. No, it fun. is. It's not upside down. You had it right. Here, uh, hold on. Let me see if this. That's just oh, freaky when it's upside down. Got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. All good. Okay, I have no idea what it was. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't. Move over, Buckethead. It's soup pot head. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. I'm going to uh, grab, not this paper, but this paper. And something to write on. Okay. I am asking for you to draw this. And what I'm going to do is try to follow your lines. I'm not going to look at you. I mean, in your mind. I'm going to use my mind to follow your lines. Okay. Are you ready? Are you drawing? Wait. Oh. Does this make sense? If you start drawing, have you begun drawing, Nathan? Mm -hmm. I was drawing with my mind. Is that okay? Draw with your pen. Oh yeah, draw okay. with your draw with your pen, and then I'm gonna follow along. Okay. Yeah. Did you get it? I think so. Okay, you ready? you ready? Hold on, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a spotlight. You ready, Nathan? Okay, three, two, one. Ah, <laughs> it's blurred, hold on, sorry. Yes, it's the ear. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? How did you? Uh, because because of this, Anna. Mentalism. Uh, <laughs> let's, Those are very good ears. Let's do. Let, let's thank you very much. Um, let's let's do this. Um, let's let's uh, try it in a new way. And I'm going to use uh, uh, Lydia for this. Uh, you got a pen and paper, Lydia. Uh, in my hands, yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, what would that be like? Um, we're going to use Loteria cards for this. And, um, and an Amazon gift box. And a, uh, and, uh, I suppose I should remove this one. Got a bag. Got some Loteria cards. Probably gonna wind up with a bucket on my head again. Uh, inside of the um, uh, Amazon gift card box, there's a piece of black, I, so I can't see. I'm just gonna put it underneath that. 
and hopefully I can find it. But uh, Lydia, yes. I think what I'll do is share a spotlight on you as well. Oh, okay. Hello. There you are. Hi. Hello. You use your use your third eye for this, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's do. We're not going to use all these cards. That would be crazy. Loteria. Uh, this is um, this is this is a card game used in. Mexico. It's uh, these symbols are um, what they do is they, they read a poem and then you are to guess what it is. So it's an added, a little added extra as opposed to just saying a star. And you find it's like you got to know what they're saying in the poem. It's really quite cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mix these up and I will tell you it's true that on the back are. These these uh poems. I don't I don't read Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, and um, you can't really see it. But uh, nonetheless, I, I want you guys to know that I'm not going to cheat by looking at the back. I'm going to put another saucepan on my face <laughs> while while Lydia does this. Okay. So yeah, I, I'm going to tell you when to stop or something. Yeah yeah yeah. Tell me uh, first of all. I'm going to put a, this on my face. Ready? Okay. This is my favorite part. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do. Now, Lydia, you don't be able to hear me very well, but um, I'm gonna hold these up, and when I get to the thing, tell me when to stop. Or, uh, um. Okay. How many? By the way, how many times do you want me to cut right now? Uh, twice. Twice. One. Uh, that wasn't very good. Two. Something like that. Um, doesn't matter because you're gonna pick whatever you want. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Do Halloween costumes? Um. There. No. Go one back. Yes. 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 <laughs> so yes, I, I will be drawing this, I assume. I'm gonna talk, Dad. Oh, never mind. Okay. This is in a box now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, I'm putting it inside of this bag. You're gonna hold on before you draw it, because I'm gonna try to psychically pick up on your lines, okay? Hold on. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm gonna be drawing this. Mm. Oh, I, I don't want to do that again. Okay, so, ready? Yeah. I have no, I have no idea what it is. I'm, I'm grabbing this. Here we go, you ready? Yes. Did everybody feel like that was fair? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay, cool. I, right. I've never trusted you. That's okay. You're, you're a magician. I never trust anybody. Would I deceive you? Yes. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> Lydia. Yeah. Okay, I want you to. Uh, I want you to uh, go ahead and and let me know when you're gonna start drawing. Okay. Okay. Um. Three, you, two, one. Yeah, I'm ready. You're, you're doing it now. Yeah. I'm following your lines. Oh. Oh. Um, I got it. I think I have it. I am finished. Okay, I'm finished too. You ready? Three, two, yes. one. Hold it up. Whoa. Uh, it's magic. <coughs> There's a genetic disadvantage or advantage. I mean, is it? Oh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe there's some, the love for ladders. some watch for a mutant power there. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Um, let's keep going. That was rad. Thank you so much, Lydia. That was really fun. Um, what do we got next? Uh, oh, yeah. The jelly bean jar prediction. Um, now. Who? Who? Anastasia. Yeah, 
Anastasia, are you in to this? Into the jelly bean jar, kind of a, a county fair sort of idea? Yeah. You know, you ever seen one of these where Yeah. you got to guess how many are in here? I'm going to take the spotlight off of these beautiful people that I love so very much. And goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. And here we are. Um, so what you're seeing, Anastasia, are jelly beans. Now, keep in mind, inside is an envelope. Oh. That's the actual number of jelly beans. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to pull out this envelope. If I can get it, if I can get to it. Because they are hardened. These are the gross, bad kind of jelly beans. These are not minus good. minus one. Yeah, <laughs> no, brought it back. back. These are the not good kind of jelly beans. Um, okay, I think we got it, and there it is. And so Anastasia, um, I'm just wondering, based on a, a gander, I can turn it around and around and around for you. How many jelly beans? How many jelly beans? Do you want me to shake it? No. One more time. Yeah, how many? What's your estimate? And they're not jelly belly. Mm -hmm. Um. Greater than five. Yeah, more than five. Greater, uh, greater than I'm five. I'm going to say. Like at least 30. Seven. 37. 37? Um, I am afraid to tell you that there are more than a hundred jelly beans in here. What? There's not a caramel core. <laughs> it's all just... Always a disappointment. Uh, sorry, but no, I, I think you're going to get it uh, now. There's at least a hundred in there. At least a hundred in yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not an even number also. A hundred and seven. That's a big one hundred and seven. Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna try to correct anything. Just, it's, it's time. It's time to open up the envelope. And so, Anastasia, see, this will come into focus. The number of jelly beans. Good God! Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Number of jelly oh, right. 107. Did you say 107? Yes. Oh. You nailed it, Anastasia. What? Oh. Good job. Oh. Nice. Wow. That's not right. You know? Do you count them as you're eating them? It's so right. <laughs> I dumped them into the same bowl that ramen went into. <laughs> <laughs> I counted them one by one, and I'm and not. You could teriyaki on those beans. You could, you could, and you. Pick the best with green. Um. Okay, David, Anastasia. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my God! Where did it go? Aha! Found it. Hi, you guys. Hello. Listen, here's the deal. I've got four queens from a is red a, bicycle deck. Is that a card got, wallet? Yeah, it's in a little wallet. It's very, very cute and very cool. I've got I've got my uh, four queens and they are, um, um, you know, like diamond, spade, club, heart. And that's, that goes the same for uh, my blue uh, bicycle cards ah. here as well. Also and, queens? Yeah, they're all queens. So okay. in, in both cases. Now, you guys are going to, uh, here's what we're going to do. Um, Anastasia? Yeah. I would love it very much if you would pick a color, red or blue. Blue, please. Blue, OK. And that means David's picking red. Now, David. Mm -hmm. I would love it if you would pick black or red in terms of 
spade and, and uh, club or mm. uh, something from the diamond heart um, hemisphere of, sorry. <laughs> so, so red. So red, okay. So you're, you're red? Red, red. Red, red, and that, and what, which one do you want? I'm red and I want red. And do you want diamond or heart? Oh, oh. Sorry. I thought you were saying just to pick a color, sorry. Um, uh, diamond. Okay, diamond. And Anastasia, club or spade? Club, please. Club, okay, fantastic. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, uh, have you guys steal from each other, okay? And I, you know, I, the only part of this that is technically mentalism is that I knew that David was going to pick diamond and I knew you were gonna pick club, uh, Anastasia, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's like this. And so you see, when you get here, uh, Anastasia is a club, but your club card is over here on David's side. Right. You see that? Yeah. And for David, your diamond card is right here, but you stole it from Anastasia. Oh. Now, what makes this also very interesting is that all of the rest of the cards are jokers. And so, uh, yeah. Robin, that's really cool. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. Great. Amazing. Thanks. Thank you very much. Anna. Yeah. Now it's time for you to do a thing. Okay. Okay, ready? Um, uh, I'm gonna use a chalkboard. And we're okay. gonna do, we're gonna battle each other, okay? I don't wanna do that, I'll break. Uh, I, I've done something like this before. And um, um, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna put a blindfold on my face, okay? Should have done it this way in October. But what I've got are ESP cards. We haven't dove into ESP yet. And um, what you see here are all of the five different types of ESP cards. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Got it, right? There's five yeah. different lines. They are wavy lines. They're square. They're circle. Do you know the other two? The plus, mm -hmm. cross, and uh, star. That's right. That's right. I'm going to throw these into a. Uh, card shuffling machine and shuffle them up like so okay you know what anna let's do it again okay Okay, cool. Okay. It's, it's a lot of fun to play with. All right, so there they are, like that. Right. Now, I'm gonna put um, mindfold on my face, on my eyes. So. Ugh. Wait, before I do that, Anna. Yeah. It's like, it's like this. Okay. Um, R and A. Okay. Uh, I don't know. First to ten. Uh, if you win, whoever wins gets to uh, gets to eat this caramel. Okay. Whoever right. wins gets this caramel. I'll mail it to you. <laughs> along, with lottery, lottery along with your lottery ticket. Okay. Here we go. So what are we doing? We're gonna, I want you to try to intuit what the ESP cards are, okay? Okay. Okay, you ready? Anna, what is this top card? Oh, I... <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, got it, got it. What is this top card? Uh, I think it's uh, a wavy. Wavy line? Uh -huh. I, think, I think it's a wavy line as well. 
Ah! Is that right? Yeah. All right, Anna. Uh, Intuitive. Did I get it? One. <laughs> One. What's this next card? I think it's a plus. I think it's a plus sign too. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, what? Anna, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anna, Anna what's, this, what's this next one? I think it's a star. I think it's actually wavy lines. Yeah, wavy. Did I get it right? You got, got wavy. Right, yep. Am I here? Yeah. You 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 accidentally made a mark on yours, no, you get like an extra one. So you already have three on yours. Oh, oh there you yeah. go. Perfect. Okay. 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 All right. Cool. Okay. Okay. I don't know where I'm throwing it. <laughs> okay. Okay, Anna. What's this next one? Uh, triangle. Triangle's not one. It's not. No. <laughs> Circle, square, wavy lines, star, and, and plus sign. Uh, circle. I think it's a square. Wow, you are Whoa. Okay, Anna, what's this next one? We're gonna get get down to the nitty gritty. We uh, circle. Anna. Huh? Are you psychic? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Like, do you get it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was psychic about you being psychic. <laughs> All right, what's this next one? Whoever gets to, I guess, seven I first? I think it's wavy. I think it's going to be a uh, plus. I think it's a plus symbol. Did I get it right? Oh. Right. Robin, how are you doing this? Did I get that right? Yeah. I'm I'm physic. What's this? You're, I think you're up to I think you're up to six. Oh, I am. Oh, we're going to seven. What's this next yeah. one? Yeah. Uh, Whoever wins gets a caramel. Whew. <laughs> High stakes. Um, I think it is a square. I am not sure. Hmm. I think it's a star, but I get it. Yeah. Well, I got it. Seven out of seven. How the what? <laughs> what the what? What is happening? He's got caramel. This is happening. I am going to take a caramel break, you guys. And <laughs> you guys want to join me? Did did we lose Nathan? Yeah. That's too bad because he's gonna miss out on uh this sample of Werner Herzog talking. Mm. Well. It's a kind of silence that you know, and, and you understand that uh, the cave paintings were made 35,000 years ago, and they are still completely fresh and intact. And you have next to you the tracks of cave bears. They look fresh, but the cave bear as a species became extinct 25,000 years ago. They don't exist anymore. By the way, uh, it's very easy to hypnotize a cave bear. Uh, they're very prone to hypnosis, and in one or two films, I've actually shown that. Okay, moving on. I got one for you, Moto. Okay. I can't wait to do this to you. This is a lot of fun. You know the thing that I did for my mom? That was yeah. an envelope, and there was a prediction. This is sort of like that, but it's different. If I ever run into you again at the magic shop, I'll show you how to do this. It's an awesome card, card trick. I will be there tomorrow. Oh, I probably won't be, but, cool. I, but if, I, <laughs> if I ever do. Yeah. This is, uh, I'm just, Still working on this caramel. It's really good, Anna. I feel really bad. Yeah. Really bad for you. Uh huh. <laughs> um, you buy lots of caramels with that winning lottery ticket that Robin's sending you. <laughs> there we go. Ten thousand dollars worth of caramels. You really could. I'll buy you like five caramels. Yeah, totally. Five caramel trucks. Yes. I'm gonna pick a card. Okay. 
This is, by the way, my favorite. Uh, my favorite. Um, Ooh, deck. Very pretty. Favorite deck. It's super dope. Um, I'm gonna pick a card. I'm gonna just put it down, okay. and it's gonna look something like that. Okay. Now. I'm paying attention. Moda, I want. Yeah, I want you to. I want you to name any card. Okay. Um. But before you do, I have predicted what you're gonna say. That's what this is. That's this card. Okay. Uh, three of diamonds. Three diamonds. It's a good card. Uh, why the three diamonds? Is that special to you? Because I have a ripped up one on the floor. <laughs> oh, oh. My favorite card is the three of spades. Um, how, Moto, how many cards are in a, a standard deck? 52. 52, that's right. And if we wanted to accurately say that we were going to find your card. Are we going to, sorry, we were going to uh, predict. predict a card that you threw down. It would be important to take out the jokers, of course, right? So that would make the deck how many? 54. 54, and that wouldn't be fair. And so that is now, well, technically 51 cards, OK? Oh, yeah. You have a 1 in 52 chance. But that is your card, OK? OK. So we'll get it mixed up. So, like so, like so, like so. Like so, and this card right here is three of diamonds. Nice. Amazing. Yes. It. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. Listen. Um, here we go. Who do I need to get involved that is dying for a magic trick? Um, Mom. Mom, can I pull you in? I don't know what the last thing we did was. Was it that 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 envelope with the heart? Yeah. Was it it? Okay, Mom. Okay, listen, I have this thing right here, um, uh, and it's a little case. It's got four different tokens inside of it, okay? There are four different colors. And, Mom, what's interesting about that is um, that they're also, um, they're numbered. There's different numbers on each. There's a single different number on each one of these. And of course, it's not anything ludicrous like 462 or 79. It's it's one, two, three, four, like that. You know, you know what I mean? So like in in a um, in an embossed plasticky way, you'll see a number on the back and you're like one, two, three, four. However, I want to stress this. These are not in order of one, two, three. It's not, it's not like that. I mean, maybe it is actually. What I'm telling you is that <laughs> four colored tokens, and you don't know, and we don't know what number corresponds with each one. So in order to make sure that you are not memorizing that particular order, taking them off. And now, Mom, this is where you tell me what color is number one. Red. Red. Okay. What color is number two? I don't even know what colors they are because I couldn't see them, but I'm just going to- You had, it. you had, but yeah. the, I'm not trying to influence you in any way, but there was a blue, green, and yellow. And That's I did that I in think. alphabetical Primary. order. Primary colors, think? probably, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. number two is mm, blue. Blue? Okay, number two. And then number three. Yellow. You got two colors left. Yellow, okay. And then that leaves, of course. Green for four. The, the green for four. And there it is. All right. Mom, take a look. This is how you did. Should I put them on my fingers? I don't know. I don't know, but I can't see them because it's up too high. Or the... this, is, this is the order that you put them in. 
I know, but I can't see it. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, I know. I know. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna bring them over to you. Okay, got you. And hopefully, they will be not backward. Okay. I think we got it, Mom. Here's how you did. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I did it. You did it. <laughs> cool. We both did it. <laughs> okay. We do the rest of the show like that. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Um, uh, okay. Um, hey, Lydia. Yes? How well do you know Harry Potter? Quite well. Okay. I'm going to need your help for this next trip. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Have a look. I'm gonna need <laughs> to somehow get this closer to you guys. That is amazing. I agree. Are, is this close enough that you are able to recognize each individual character? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yes? Okay. Now. What we're going to do is play a game. It's very simple. Uh, right here, I have a I have a prediction of, of who the final uh, character is going to be. I'm going to set it right here. I'm not going to touch it. No funny business. Uh, okay. It's quite simple. Uh, Lydia, you get to pick two, and I get to eliminate one. Then I pick two, and you eliminate one. And we keep it limited. So, on, so, on. so we get to the end. Are okay. you ready? Um, yes. Go ahead. Pick two. Um, Professor Trelawney. Oh, by Voldemort. Okay. Oh, yeah, Trelawney. Yeah, got it. Yes. Out. Wait. Um, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I'm not doing that right. You pick two, and then I eliminate. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, well, Professor Trelawney and Professor Snape, who is in the very front right. Well, I love Snape. I'm going to take Talani out. Okay, I'm picking uh, uh, Hedwig and um, whoever this guy is. I can't remember his Sirius name. Black. Sirius Black, of course, Sirius Black. Sorry, I knew that. Um, I would like to choose Sirius Black. What's that? I would like to choose Sirius Black. You're eliminating Sirius Black? Uh, yes. Okay, um, your turn. Okay, um, Bellatrix, who is in the back row. Okay. Uh, and Dobby, who is in the front. I'm getting rid of Dobby. I never liked Dobby. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with, um, this is Lucius Malfoy? Yes. And his son, Franco Malfoy. Okay. I'm choosing Lucius, or Lucius? Lucius? Yeah. Yes. Oh, your turn. Okay. Um, I'm choosing Draco uh, and Neville. Uh, Neville. Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, ha Hagrid and Luna Lovegood. Oh gosh. Um. Okay. Hagrid. No, no Luna. Luna's out. Yeah. You went as Luna Lovegood for Halloween. I would have thought we would have kept her in the game. Yeah. Um, uh, my turn. Um, Ron or Bellatrix? Ron or Bellatrix, you said? Yeah. Oh, um, mm, Ron. Ron is out. I, I'm not really saying this with any bias, so. What? Yeah. They can hear you. They have ears. They know you're eliminating them. No, what? I'm, like, not choosing, like, favorite characters and stuff. Wait, who have you eliminated just now? Oh, Ron. Ron Weasley. You, and who, you picked who and who? Ron, I, Ron and Bellatrix. Okay. And you, no, okay. You, all right, my turn now. You put Ron Weasley down. That was my turn. That's right. Thank you for yeah. keeping score. Yep. Good. Good. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep working on drinking this. Voldemort and Dumbledore. Uh, Voldemort. Okay. We don't, we don't talk about him. Uh, <laughs> Uh, McGonagall and Bellatrix. Oh, Bellatrix. See ya. Okay. Your turn. Um, 
Harry and Hedwig. Hedwig. Alright. Your turn. What just happened? Your turn. Okay. Uh Harry <laughs> uh Harry or Hagrid. Harry. Harry? Yeah. Alright. Uh the boy who didn't live. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Hermione and Ginny. Oh, you said, I think you said Jimmy. Uh, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, I'll get rid of yeah, Jenny. Goodbye. Okay, uh, Malfoy <clears throat> or Snape? <clears throat> oh, God. Um, oh, uh, Malfoy. Yeah. Your turn. No, it's your turn. <gasps> no. Your turn. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. Um, Hermione and Dumbledore. Dumbledore. He's retiring. Mm. Uh, how about um, McGonagall or Snape? Mm, Snape. See ya. Your turn. Oh yeah. Um, Hagrid and Hermione. Hagrid. All right. Hmm. What does that mean? Do I send this your way now? Yeah, I guess so. Hermione or McGonagall? Mm -hmm. McGonagall is chosen. McGonagall? That's crazy. You want to know why? Because this is <laughs> Hermione. Right there. Oh. <laughs> she's flying on a broom and yeah. and um she's gonna fly right out of this trick um you guys there's two tricks left they're absolutely astounding i cannot wait to do it uh get ready this is gonna be insane um uh okay listen so um uh cheyenne Yes. Can, can I get you involved in this? Mm -hmm. Can you be the person? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The um, but stick around for the last one, you guys. For sure. Um, listen. Um, we're gonna go back to um this idea of um of uh, ESP cards. Okay. Now I have five ESP cards. You have five ESP cards. Mine are green. This helps me to know which are mine and which are yours, okay? okay? We're gonna shuffle yours up. We're gonna move this over. Just like that. We're gonna shuffle mine up. No, I don't know what direction they're going in. That's mine, these are yours. And what you see here is this. Okay. You see this? Do you see yourself yep. in there? Do you see an endless reflection? Really? Okay. Um, I'm going to just put uh, my five cards in here in some particular fashion, and um, it'll look something like, I don't know, this. You won't see what I'm doing. I'm just going to pick at random um, something like this. I probably don't even need to, to look. I'm not even going to look. Uh, this feels good. Do that. This looks good. I'll grab it, throw it in here. Um, then uh, we'll do that. And then that leaves this here. Okay. So that's not the fun part. The fun, well, the fun part is your part. Okay. Here are your cards. I'm going to run my finger over. You tell me where to stop and you tell me where to put the card. Sounds fun. Okay. Stop. This one? No. This one? Yeah, put it in four. Four, going in four, okay? That's this one, okay. Now, in, uh, I almost called you Anastasia. Cheyenne. Uh-huh. Let's keep going. Okay, that one. Put it in one. Okay, going in one. Next one. All right. That one, nope. 
first one is five. Number five. Okay. That's two. Two. This one? Two? No. No. This one's two. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now that leaves this for number three. I want to ask you something, Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. You, right now, can pick anything else. You can change your mind on something. Do you want to change your mind? Sure. That, I think that one should go in number one. You sure? Yeah. Okay. That would mean this goes into three. Are you happy with what that is? What, so happy with, happy with where you arrived. You ready? Finally. In let's, my see, life. let's see how well we did. What? Hmm. Not bad. Hmm. How did you do that? There's something in the water in this apartment. Yes. Hmm. If you remember from the uh, Halloween show, this apartment's very, very haunted. Yes. Diane, I gotta say, um, uh, thank you. Mark? I just gotta say thank yeah. you. I love you. Okay, you guys ready for the, the great finale? The big finale? You're all involved. You're all private investigators. We're going to play Clue together. Ooh. You know what I mean? We're gonna play Clue. Um, and here's how we're gonna do it. I have with me I know this is a long show. Thanks for sticking it out. Uh, have with me this thing to help to pull into view in such a way that you can see it very clearly and it doesn't have any reflections. And then, in addition, uh, Oh, where did my chalk go? Has anybody seen my chalk? <laughs> uh, you used it with the chalkboard when we were playing ESP. Yeah, thank you. I found it because you said that. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh -huh. That actually helped me find it. Okay, um, I have with me, um, so I'm not joking, uh, Clue. We all know Clue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a, a, a fabulous deduction game. Uh, uh, it's a, really my favorite board game of all time. If I, have to, if I have to pick a classic, this is the one. Have all of the suspects on this side, have all of the weapons on the other side. And so we're all gonna work together. Okay, you understand? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set this, I don't know where to set this. That's, is this enough? Do you guys, can you see? Yeah, this is Miss Scarlet, can you see that this is Miss White? Yep, she, this is White, she's married. This is Professor, nope, this is Mr. Green. That's Professor Plum. Y'all know who that is, right? Colonel Mustard. Ooh, and that, anybody know? Any guesses? How well do you know? Clue? Peacock. That's nice. Peacock. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So. Here's how this works. I don't want to cover this up. I don't want you to think there's a funny business. I'm going to make an honest to God prediction. Okay? I am writing right now. And first of all, I'm going to show you this. I have blank slates for categories one, two, and three. Okay? I'm going to show you the opposite side of this. It's just a big slate. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, I am going to write who I think the suspect is right now. Okay. I'm writing it right here. Hey, can you just show that to us real fast? Yeah. No. I'm going to close this and I will not show you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least you tried. Yeah. Darn. That is going to be set down right here. And now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go immediately to Brandon. Brandon, sir, you are muted, sir. 
Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I would like to know, I would like to know which one of these suspects did not do it. And I also would like to know why. <laughs> I want to know what their alibi was. Uh, Colonel Mustard? It's Colonel Mustard. He did not do it. And why did Colonel Mustard, why is Colonel Mustard uh, innocent of this crime? Uh, By the way, <laughs> what's the crime? The butler was killed in this man. No. <laughs> he was too busy in the war. He was busy in the war. <laughs> Killing other people. That's right. <laughs> Colonel Mustard is out. He had more responsibilities. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Uh, Heather, who here definitely did not kill the butler in the big mansion? And why? Yes. You're going to say Peacock. Peacock didn't do it. And Heather, why is that? There was a really good sale at Macy's that day. A good sale at Macy's. Peacock wasn't completely <laughs> preoccupied looking at. We're shopping the one day sale. There's more stuff she needs to have at Macy's. Um, thank you very much, Miss um, Peacock. <laughs> um, okay, Anna. Yeah. Who didn't do it? For sure. And why? sure for sure was not mr green yeah and you and y'all you, you know why he's innocent he <laughs> was in a, a hula hoop competition that's right <laughs> he was busy it was a fundraiser and mm -hmm. he had nothing to do with the death of this poor butler because he's yeah he's showing his mood and, uh, <laughs> that's right mr green did not do it thank you Factual, factual, actual. Moto, who definitely didn't do it? We're left with these three. Oh, we've got Miss Scarlet, Mrs. White, and Professor Plum. Who didn't do it and why? Professor Plum was uh, stuck grading students' papers. He was stuck. He's a professor, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, he, he was stuck doing gradings. Absolutely. Absolutely. I just realized I have you guys stuck on on the spot button. Um, that's, that's a fact. Uh, very, very uh, busy uh, college professor and um, didn't have the time. Um, I mean, there's a couple teachers here, right? Mom, Cheyenne, you don't have time to kill anybody, right? So, okay, now, Speaking of, mom, who didn't yeah. do it? Mrs. White. And why didn't Mrs. White do it? Because she was baking pies for the queen. Oh yeah, that's right. Because this is Before this the... is in England. Yeah. And she's a uh, yeah she's she's got a couple of different things she does. That's a side hustle. Mrs. Yeah. White didn't do it. Um, and that means that Mrs. Scarlet did it. Okay. Oh. okay. Now here's the deal, Mrs. Scarlet. <clears throat> Guilty. Here we go. We've got we got these weapons. Now, I am going to make my prediction as to which weapon killed the butler right now. I'm gonna put it right here in the second category. Hmm. Gruesome. Very gruesome. Yeah. Okay. And now I shut category number two. I'm going to put that uh, uh, Miss Scarlet right here. That was that was the one who did it. Let's figure out what murder weapon was used. Okay. Cheyenne, what murder weapon was definitely not used and why? We have a wrench, a candlestick, a knife, a revolver, a lead pipe, and rope. What okay. weapon definitely wasn't involved in the killing of the butler? 
Um, the revolver. The revolver, and that's that's right. And why? Because Miss Scarlet doesn't believe that people should use guns. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's an issue that's very close to her heart and to her the boot of her thigh because she actually is a liar. But she didn't do it. She's a derringer, and that's not a revolver. Um, wait, what did I just say? Miss Scar, I screwed this all up. Miss Scarlet definitely did it, but she didn't do it with the revolver because she doesn't believe in using revolvers, even though she has a derringer. I'm sorry. Next person. <laughs> David. Yes. What weapon definitely wasn't used? But uh, yeah, in the killing of the butler. Um. She did not use the candlestick because the candlestick is made out of brass and she's highly allergic. That's right. Some people have metal allergies. That's yeah. right. Scarlet wouldn't touch that. She wouldn't touch a revolver. Shine's right about that. She wouldn't touch a candlestick. You're right about that. Anastasia, mm -hmm. what, what weapon did Miss Scarlet definitely avoid using for the murdering of this butler? And why? <laughs> She did not use the knife. Why? Well, it was being used in a ritual, a witchcraft <laughs> ritual that um, Mrs. White and Professor Plum were performing. The plot, a plot to kill the queen. Yeah. Involving pie. Yeah. And. Yeah, to cut the pie. <laughs> yeah, you to cut the pie, but you put the, the blackbirds out. Poison in the pie. Okay, that's okay. fine. Scarlet didn't touch the knife. Didn't touch a candlestick. Didn't touch a revolver. I don't know. Oh, shit. That's a pretty good joke, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, well, now that leads us to... Um, who does that lead us to? Lydia, what weapon was definitely not used? in the murder. Um, she did not use the rope because the rope is red and she does not like the color red. Her name is Miss Scarlet. Her so name, Scarlet. She doesn't oh. like red. Her name is Miss Scarlet. <laughs> she hates red. But she and for the, for the sake of argument, that rope is not red. It looks red on the camera. Okay, fair enough. Uh, she doesn't want her murder weapons to be red. No. Right, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Good enough. Okay. Now that leads us back to. Oh, wait, is anybody not gone? Moto. No. Wait. Who was? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I was last. You are. You haven't gone yet. No, I'm not. Who? What weapon is off the table? Well, the lead pipe, since it was poisoning everyone in the walls. <gasps> Killing people in a different way. Yeah, it was poisoning them all with lead poisoning by the water running through it. Oh, they were all eventually going to die anyway. Exactly. But you see, the lead pipe was killing the butler, just wasn't the murder weapon of choice used. Guys, that well, that leads that leads to to this then. Moto, thank you very much. That helped to eliminate. We now know who killed the butler. We also know what weapon was used. It was the wrench. Miss Scarlet used the wrench. So we'll write down the wrench. Hey. Hey, now, you guys, not enough space. There's too many rooms. There's too many damn rooms. I, uh, we've got uh, a theater, a spa, a living room, an observatory, a hall, a patio, a kitchen, a dining room, a guest house, and we're all getting tired because it's nearly 1030, so I've got a different way to do this. First person to raise their hands. Modo was the first and the only person. Okay, you ready? Here's the deal. I have put all of the rooms inside of this flipbook to make this easier. Okay. Okay. We got all the rooms. All right. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my prediction right now. Time for bed. Okay. All right, are you ready? Yes. Mama, this is I it. don't know what I'm doing, but yes. We're gonna have you flip right through this book. You tell me when to stop, okay? 
Here, here we go. Stop. Right there. You landed on the observatory. Guys, yeah. we now know who killed the butler. We know what weapon was used and we know what room it was done in. The observatory. So, I made a prediction at the beginning of each of these categories, and I am very excited to share that this investigative team had a psychic working alongside. <laughs> Scarlet, I guessed that it would be Miss Scarlet. I didn't really spell her name right. I wrote Scarl, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of that's kind of weird. And I thought it would be the wrench. Oh God. Wait, doesn't she have like a metal allergy? Look at that. Brass. 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 Okay. With the wrench. I knew. And lastly, this butler died in the observatory. And I knew. Wow. wow. Miss Scarl. <laughs> with the wrench in the observatory. Amazing. Mwah! Hey, um, you guys. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the June the Magic Show for the End of the World, uh, the <laughs> Mentalism Show. I sure enjoyed spending the evening with all of you, and I hope that uh, you will um, have a great evening. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and get some rest. Thank and, you, Robin. Uh, you're so well. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. And um, we have two more months of this. Um, and next month is going to be all about magic through the computer, magic in the hands. I'm going to use Lydia as your surrogate for tricks yeah. that can only be done with a physical person or tricks where you're going to need a deck of cards in your home in order for, uh, and probably a pad of paper and a pen. It'll be real easy. I'll let everybody know what you got to have. And we're going to, we're going to do cool, weird things that you will not think possible. Um, and I, I promise to make it fun. And then the final show in August uh, is going to be um, a variety show in a sense. It'll be, um, I don't know. I won't even tell. You, I won't even tell you about it. We'll just we'll get there when we get there. Okay. But thanks for joining me for ten months. Can't believe we got this far. So <laughs> they wrap. I, sure, I sure love you all. And uh, love you. Take care. You. Yeah. You, Bye, you guys. Bye. Be well. Bye. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Moda. I have Moda. Have a great night, and thanks for joining us. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I don't worry, I have the wrench. You know, or I have a sword. Whatever you prefer. All right. Let's go.